Well, we have more than 60 different species of bats in this area and approximately half of them are insectivorous bats and most of the rest are, are, are frugivorous bats. And of course, we also have quite a few nectarivorous bats as well. What's happened all over the world in the tropics is that many species of plants have become adapted for pollination by bats. And usually the flowers are not brightly colored, you know, like hummingbird flowers or butterfly flowers, and so people don't notice them. But, uh, but they're there, they're often very large flowers, and they're often on uh, very important, economically important plants. For example, many species of trees are pollinated by bats here in the tropics. The public is woefully ignorant about bats. <laughs> and once they find out what interesting animals are, and what, you know, they have just really fascinating biology and they're like the most important mammals in the world as far from our perspective in terms of controlling insects. You know I think that the best story and we have a number of stories we tell here about what insectivorous bats do and like in one cave they eat 250 tons of bugs every night for example but the best story is that they did a study in Texas and in, in a cotton growing area in Texas uh, they found out the bats just based on the insects they eat are saving the cotton farmers, just the cotton farmers, a million dollars a year. Everywhere in the world they control nocturnal insects. There's no one else out there to do it. Just bats. There's two different kinds of vampire bats. The Hollywood kind and the real kind. And they're completely different. Okay, the Hollywood kind are, you know, this this big and blood suckers and, and, and they attack people, you know, all this sort of thing. The real vampire bats, bats weigh about one ounce, okay? And, uh, and they do, they really do drink blood, but uh, mainly from cows. And, you know, the amount of blood they drink from a cow is practically nothing. Well, the, here our real emphasis uh, beyond biology is strictly conservation because bats have the most serious conservation problems of any mammals in the world right now. You may think of pandas and whatever, but uh, some uh, formerly really common species of bats are threatened with extinction because of diseases, because of you know, these big wind turbines. They chop up thousands and thousands of bats, and in some parts of the world, everybody eats bats. So we get some real problems.